Boom, Chesh Luja, what's up people? Hola, Vigo's that here. Welcome to another episode. Guys, today I wanna do a reaction video. I haven't done a reaction video in quite a while and I'm actually very excited because I found a very funny video that it's called Things Not to Say to Eastern European People. We are gonna modify that title and we're gonna call it Things Not to Say to Central slash Eastern European people because most of you guys are Polish. I want you to feel included and I also don't want you to come at me telling me that I'm saying once again that Poland is in Eastern Europe. So let's get going. Things not to say to Eastern, Central and Eastern European. How much vodka can you drink? <laughs> Not two shots and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, they offer me vodka and you know, I try to blend in, so I was like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's all about the alcohol, isn't well, it, with you Central East Europeans? Like, perform how much you can drink, right? You're at a party and they want to be like, oh yeah, like drink, show me how much you can drink. Yeah, it's like, well, I'm sorry, that is not, you know, something that only Central East Europeans have to do. You Central East Europeans make us foreigners perform at your parties. You know, let's see if you can keep up with us. Your breakfast. No, no one does that. That's not normal. Well, <laughs> if you do, that's some people do, but uh, they got problems. Exactly. <laughs> Speak English. Speak English. I regular death stares on public transport to the, to the point where I try and limit my use of Bulgarian as much as possible. Mm -hmm. My mom actually tells me, oh. she tells me when I speak or call her, are you sure you don't want to speak in English? Are you in a safe space? They say, oh, you're in our country, you should speak our language. Okay, are you going to explain? Oh, you see, that's, that's terrible because obviously that is racist, right? When someone uh, tells you, if they listen to you speak in a foreign language and they tell you that you should speak whatever languages that they're speaking in, in, in that country you're residing, it's terrible. We experienced something together in England. We were biking from the gym and there was this guy coming in this, you know, BMW SUV very fast and I signaled him to just, hey, come on, take it, take it easy because we were biking on the same street and he stopped very abruptly, turned around and came and, you know, got off his, got off his car and he was saying to us, you know, what the heck, you're talking to me and very, very angrily, very violently. My wife was pregnant at the time. So I, you know, I did my best to keep my composure. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let some dumbass, you know, make me feel out of control. But he was pretty, you know, like aggressive and talking and saying, "You should go back to your country" or something like that. I do remember that. To my aunt, like how to program that her DVD true. player, cause like, how at it, mate? I do understand how it could be irritated for English people when they're not yeah. understand that thing you're talking about them. Yeah, they always think that you're talking about them. If they want to understand, they can always learn Bulgarian and then join us. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. That is a very good one, as a matter of fact. And that not only happens in, in England, it happens in the United States. It happens in English-speaking countries that are very big. They are, they are you know, like, powerful. Uh, sadly, a lot of the people in the society get used to having it their way, right? They speak... English is being spoken everywhere they go, so they're like, Yeah, I don't hear you speak English. But most foreigners that reside in these countries speak at least two languages, and most of the times it's more than two. So how about you learn uh, another foreign language? Okay, please, be my, be my guest. All those countries are the same. All those countries are the yeah, same. Yeah, I, I think you're coming from East Europe, so that's, for them, is Russia. Oh, uh, are you from... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That is a big one uh, that you guys commented a lot that, you know, people should not say to you. I guess it's because Russia is, you know, the biggest country. Uh, it has a lot of influence all over the world, of course. So many people that are, I guess, a little ignorant to Central and Eastern Europe. And I'm, I'm going to assume this is probably more common in, in Eastern Europe and countries that used to belong to the Soviet bloc. But uh, yeah, it happens. Russia. I said, no, no, I'm from Macedonia. I'm from Bulgaria. Oh, that's where in Russia is that? Oh. Oh, is that in Russia? Yeah, but you speak Russian, right? Oh, yes. No, I speak Macedonian. <laughs> you can hear his frustration. No, I speak Macedonian. But listen, to be a little bit fair, I think many of these countries, especially the ones that used to belong to the Soviet Union, have been taught Russian in their formative years in school. So I think that that's maybe what many foreigners think when they ask if they, you know, oh, do you speak Russian? Coming over here, taking oh, our yeah. jobs. Coming over here, taking our jobs. Yeah. Oh my God, I hate this. Yeah, yeah that so is So first of all, how can I steal a job that's already vacant? 
someone goes to sleep and they wake up without a job. It doesn't <laughs> work that way. We're doing the jobs that no one wants to do. Okay, yeah, that is a great one. In England, rather recently, we have seen this issue, you know, of a lot of foreigners leaving the country because of, first of all, Brexit, then um, the economical and financial situation in the country. And yeah, you can see a change in at the beginning during the years of, of, of Brexit there was this thing where they were saying that foreigners are stealing our jobs not everyone of course but it was a thing that you could hear and uh, now that many foreigners have left then all of a sudden there's a lot of uh, places that are needing that you know man or women power it's a very ignorant and racist Thing to say so I hope you have never been in that position where someone have, has ever told you that you are there stealing their jobs. NHS is run by our nurses oh, yeah. and, oh, completely. and doctors. Yeah. You see? Sometimes you have to be... Well, I should make a pause and say that this video is made by the BBC, right? So it's in, in England and uh, many of the things being said here are going to apply to that reality but I think that it, it's a very good crossover to other countries uh, in Europe where you have Central and Eastern Europeans residing. So I, I think it applies. Much better qualified and work harder to get the same job that Yeah, because there's still person. prejudice even with That is true. No one that is true. says, okay, show me your passport. That is true. Oh, Romanian, shiny, burgundy passport. Please come in. Please be a teacher. Please be the CEO of the company. Yeah. I would love to be. I feel for her. I understand because you guys know I'm Dominican. When we don't have a, a pass, passport privilege, uh, I have had to fight very hard for all the visas that I've applied to ever since I was a little kid. First of all, American visa, then getting visa to study in, in, in Spain. That was a nightmare. Even going to study with all the qualifications and all the financial securities and everything it was very difficult. And then, of course, flying anywhere, it, I understand her. So the the passport privilege thing is a real thing. You must eat a lot of cabbage. You must eat a lot of cabbage. <laughs> there it is. Like, I've never had cabbage in my entire life. Yeah. I eat so little cabbage. Really? <laughs> I love I really? <laughs> That's our thing. Come on, what's going on? I'm on like, oh, you're, in you're English, right? We eat bank only back fins. You know what? They've got me here because I eat so much cabbage. <laughs> I love cabbage. <laughs> my cat is named Cabbage. Even our houses are made of cabbage. Just instead of wood, we use cabbage for fire. And that's how we survive. It's a stink. He's so Eastern European. He's so sarcastic. I love it. It but stinks so bad. It's, but like it's good for your body. It's really. Good. It's good for your body. Could you do my bathroom? Could you do my bathroom? Bush. <laughs> oh so implying that they're all workers. I have a PhD in medieval history. So uh, could you suck it? Anyone that comes over is like, oh, you're either going to be a builder if you're a man or a cleaner yeah. if you're a woman. They, they think we're just like these really tough men who don't speak a lot. They, they have like one small bag that they brought from Poland or Lithuania <laughs> or Macedonia. Put yeah, their whole life a in lot there. of kubasa in there. A lot of people, they, they get shocked when you like, you get an Eastern European in and then like you get a legitimate quote and they're like, oh, well, I wanted this for slave labor prices. <laughs> Once again, Central European <laughs> humor is the best. Do you know any gangsters? Do you know any gangsters? Mm. They think we're all like quite tall, quite like scary looking. Yeah. They think you were like born in a prison or something. Like well, I mean, Eastern you Europeans are tough people, you know, they're people big you and strong, so. Solitary. You got guns? Yeah, plenty. I'm selling them as well <laughs> online. Go to eBay. Remember there are more guns know, in the Dominican Republic than there are in Eastern like Europe, Romanian I think. Romanian pickpocket gangs. An entire oh, and then let's not talk about the states, Romania right? To pick your pockets. And it's like drip, 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 drip. Yeah. Like the drop until you think, well, they must be all criminals. When are you going home? When That's are you so going terrible. Home? When England wins the World Cup. On the night? Ah, <laughs> 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 I don't like football, but that was a good one. <laughs> I'm never going back home. I'm staying forever. You'll hear people say stuff like, oh, well, they'll just, they'll just all go home. And then I'm like, hi. And, and then you reveal, oh, you know, I'm an immigrant. <laughs> I'm, you know, I have a job but here. But you're fine. And yeah, oh, exactly. God. And she told me, no, you're fine. It's the other immigrant. Yeah. But you see, this video is from 2019. So I would love to see what they're saying now. Like I said before, now they want the foreigners back because they are leaving and who's going to do their job? Good people with 
high qualification. Your country must be a shithole. Your country must be a shit. Hole. Who says something like that? Who yeah, says I'm something just, like that yeah, to yeah, another yeah, person? The only reason why I'm here. No, I, I mean, <laughs> when people kind of picture Russia, I think they picture Putin on a bear running through a forest <laughs> with a handful of. Oh, well, Putin has used that as his selling point. People are walking just in underwear on the street because nobody can afford anything else. They're they're stabbing each other for a piece <laughs> of bread. Oh yes, back in old country, we sleep with donkey. He is comrade. We live pretty much the same life, just yeah. slightly to the east. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely thing to say. We all live the same lives, just slightly to the, to the east. Open up to it, and I'm sure you, you, you take something that you love out of Eastern Europe. We have like many things, many things that we love about churches, Eastern, Central Eastern Europe. Art. Polish dancing, the wild dances. Oh. The bars open 24 hours. Man, we got our own weird hip hop now. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, it'll be okay. That is, that is true. Oh, you see, Magdalena Grzyzewska. Yeah, they're always saying. Grzyzew, oh, Grzyzewska. Anyways, guys, that is the end of my reaction to this particular video. Super cringy, and I cannot believe that many of these things uh, that these people said there have been spoken and have come out of the mouth of another person but they have and they do happen all the time boom that's all guys that's the end of the episode i hope you liked it it was very fun for me to do this uh, reaction video i like to do them from time to time please in the comment section below go crazy tell me what things you should not say to a central or an eastern european if you have had any of these things being said to you Give us the story. You know that we love to read it. Guys, see you next week. Bye-bye.